Hello, this is Douglas Rumbaugh, and welcome to episode 6 of my Back to Basics Linux command line tutorial. As promised, today I'm going to be talking about groups in a very basic light. Okay, so what is a group? Well, a group is a collection of users that share certain permissions. Uh, as you'll recall, if I were to do a long list, these three permissions right there are the permissions for the members of the same group as the owner of the file and this is one of the places where groups come in handy there are others you can use it simply as a means of organizing different users on the systems or giving access to or permissions to access certain files which is most common that that being files beyond using this perspective there are specific group permissions where you can have a group give a group permission to access a certain file versus just relying on this uh, groups are members of the owners group thing the first thing I want to show you is how you can see what groups your user currently belongs to and there are two ways to go about this the first is with the groups command you can specify a user or you can leave it blank in which case it will default to your user in this case you're leaving it blank it'll default to Douglas and these are the groups that Douglas belongs to likewise we can do the same specifying root and get a list of the groups that root belongs to this wheel group here which is worth noting is sort of a holdover from the old days uh, it's essentially the administrators group on a Linux system and you can configure SUE to only allow members of the wheel group to use it you'll remember SUE from the last video is the substitute user command I might show you how to do that in a future video that one probably won't be in this series I'm trying to keep things basic in this one but who knows we'll see where I go the other way to see what groups your user belongs to is to use the ID command. If you type in ID followed by a username, it's going to give you a lot of information. Uh, first thing, it'll show you the user ID number of your user, which is how the computer recognizes it. Computers don't handle strings, they handle numbers. So Douglas is meaningless to the computer. As far as the computer is concerned, I'm user 1000. Uh, and the same deal for the group. This first one here, GID equals 100 users, this is the default group. So my Douglas, when I created it, as you recall with user add, the, you do a lowercase g followed by the default group of the user. That is this one up here. And after that is the group ID is followed by the group names of every group that I'm a part of, including my default group and everything else. To get a full list of the groups on the system, you have to edit, or it's all saved in a text file. In slash Etsy, there's a file called group, and in here is every single group as well as the members of that group. However, it's important to note that, like for example, we go here to users, even though we've established that Douglas belongs to group users, he doesn't show up on here, and that is because your def the default group members, well, the how do I word this? Um, the group to which the user has been set as default doesn't show up on this, which is a little annoying. There's no good way, to my knowledge, to easily obtain a list of all of the members of a group. But this, just looking through this text file is probably, probably the easiest way to do it. Okay. So that's how we get a handle on the way the system is currently configured, but we want we want to change that. The first thing I'm going to show you how to do is add a group. And as there is a user add command, there's also simply group add. Uh, you have to run this as root, and then just group add and test group or whatever you want your group's username, to, the group's username, the group's name to be. Test group has been added. Now, if we want to add a user to test group, we run the G password, G P A S S W D. This is a group management tool that comes with Linux. 
the dash a means we're going to add and then we do the username followed by the group name and permission denied because we need to run this as root so Douglas has been added to group test group now this doesn't update immediately so you'll note test group doesn't show up here but if we go and I believe if we edit Etsy group test group is here and Douglas is in it so it did work next up we're going to remove Douglas to do that again as root you run G password using the, the minus D option Douglas and test group and just like that Douglas has been removed from that particular group cool let's kill the group entirely uh, there's a group or as root once again all these commands need to be run as root group del just like user del there's a group del and we can then delete the test group like so okay so that is some basic group management information uh, just to quickly recap you can use groups followed by the username of your user to list all of the groups that that user belongs to likewise you can use ID with the username that will also list out the groups but it will show you the ID numbers for the username the group and the groups and also tell you what the default group of that user is to get a full list of groups in the system you'll want to edit the group file or browse the group file that will tell you every group on the system and the users in that group assuming that the group is instead is that users default group to add a group use group add to remove a group group del and then the g password command will allow you to add a user to a group using the minus a or delete a user from a group using minus d and once again all of these commands must be run as root okay that's all that I have for you today this turned out to be fairly short um, in the next episode huh, I'm not really sure what I want to cover in the next one probably standard output standard input uh, input redirects so that is going to be useful uh, stay tuned for that and if you have any questions, comments, feedback, please leave it in the comment section below. I'll do my best to get back to you in as timely a manner as possible. As always, thank you for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you soon.